All right, let's go ahead and talk about factor trees. So a factor tree is basically something that helps us determine all of the factors of a given number. And we're going to use this factor tree to determine the greatest common factor in some examples later on. So for now, let's say we have the number 20 and we want to use a factor tree to find all of its factors, all of its prime factors. So 20, we know splits up into four times five. Five is a prime number, can't be split up any further. Four, we know splits into two times two. 2 is also a prime number, cannot be split any further. So that means we're pretty much done. So what that tells us is that 20 is 2 times 2 times 5. But what we're going to write down is 20 equals 1 times 2 times 2 times 5. So the 2, this 2, and the 5 all come from the factor tree here. This whole thing is the factor tree. And the 1, we're going to write the 1 here because we're going to need it when we do the greatest common factor later on. So in some examples we will need it, sometimes we might not need it, but we won't know until we actually do it. So it's just safest to always put the 1 here. So when we're doing greatest common factor problems using factor trees, always put the 1. So that's pretty much factor trees. Now just a little side note, you might be wondering, uh, 20 is also 10 times 2, how did you know to split it up into 4 times 5? Well, it doesn't actually matter. So if we split it up the other way, 20 is 10 times 2, 2 is a prime number, it can't be split up any further. 10 splits up into 5 times 2. And notice again, we have 2 and 2 and 5, just like before, 2, 2, and 5. So the point there is if you have a number that can be split up a few different ways, it doesn't matter which way you do it, as long as you split it up into the prime factors. So in this case, 2, 2, and 5. So that's factor trees, and we're going to use those in the later examples when we find greatest common factors.